Hey, what's up guys? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me on this very short video. I just wanted to let you guys know that we are officially selling Junkyard Fox bandanas and they are officially going live as soon as we drop this video. So let me just show you these bandanas. There's going to be a limited batch of about 40 of them. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for them. So let me give you a brief rundown for some of you newer viewers that were not around three years ago. So about three years ago, 20, early 2017, I wanted to celebrate the fact that we were hitting 10,000 subscribers and I wanted to do something special. I wanted to do something different. So I decided to make a uh, Junkyard Fox merch, but it was gonna be pragmatic. It was gonna be useful for everyday carry, camping, hunting. So we settled on making bandanas and these were the first designs right here. And to this day, I still very much enjoy this, love this bandana. And we made a batch of about 40 of them. It sold out in a day. And in that, after that, we've been asked at least once a week for the last three years, when is there gonna be another set of bandanas, another batch to sell? Uh, and we've been avoiding it and I'll elaborate why. But anyways, once again, let me just give you a brief rundown of the design. This is 18 by 18 inches, 100% cotton. So you can turn into char cloth in an emergency. And these designs, oh, I have it backwards by the way. These designs are not laminated on there, so you don't gotta worry about you know them being sticky and uh, say you, you use it in the, around the campfire and you touch something hot like a pot. It's not gonna melt off. This process, I'm not sure what it's called, but what they do at the, at the printing place is they suck out the colors. The machine sucks out the colors, so it just keeps the design that you want. And I think that's just really useful. So uh, let me just show you the design in general, elaborate on it. So the design you have here is one, you have a raven right there. Now the raven represents Cuervo Negro, who is my buddy. For those of you who don't know, Cuervo Negro is the camera about 90% of the time. So he's cameraman behind the lens. Uh, he's also the music composer. So all the music you listen on Junkyard Fox, he creates from scratch. So uh, that's my buddy right there. Then we have JF, Junkyard Fox 2017. And then over here in the corner, you have the Fox logo, the Junkyard Fox logo, which is a fox with the knife in its mouth. And for those of you interested or curious, the knife it's carrying is an LT Wright GNS and a saber grind. That was my main belt knife for many years. I foolishly sold it and I regret that. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, there is some wear to this bandana for several years of camping and all that. And uh, But it's still holding on pretty strong. I still love it. So then let's go ahead and break down the following, the new bandanas. The design themselves, the design itself hasn't really changed all too much. There's just been improvements. So the bandana is a little bit larger. These new bandanas are dark blue, navy blue. Uh, they are 22 by 22 inches, so they're a little bit bigger. I believe in time they'll probably shrink a little bit, like half an inch or something. Um, the designs are larger and they're a little bit tighter. I'll show that in a little bit. So same thing, we got the Raven, JF 2020. And by the way, uh, as minuscule and you know, as nothing as it may sound, but considering how insane this year has been, if you own one of these bandanas and you make it to the year 2021, this is gonna be a badge of honor, <laughs> no joke. And then of course, the Fox logo once more. And we decided to go with blue just to switch it up. Um, everything else is the same. So 100% cotton. Uh, this is still that same process. So it's not laminated. It's not pasted on there. And uh, we just decided to go with blue. Uh, one, it's I'm always wearing blue. It's something of a joke almost with some of my viewers because I always wear blue shirts when I'm outdoors. Also, uh, a little bit of some nostalgia personally for me. Check out this bandana right here. This is my first bandana I ever got for everyday carry when I was a newbie at all this bushcraft and camping and survival skills. This is my first one. And to this day, I still carry it, still one of my favorites. As you can tell, it is beat to hell. So what I'm doing basically is I'm a sentimental old fool. I'm mixing the design from this one with this one and a little bit of improvement in between. And then you get, of course, the new stuff. So let me show you the differences in the design here. And I apologize if you hear noises in the background. My cats have no respect and they don't care that I'm filming. But anyway, as you can tell, the Raven is larger. So the designs are slightly larger. Not only that, but I wanted to just tighten them up just a little bit. Now, I do like the fact that they have like this almost cave painting kind of look to them, almost like a rough look. I like that. But some things didn't translate 
100% correctly. So I designed all these designs myself years ago. And uh, you see in the green one how the legs kind of have gaps like in the ankles and stuff. Um, that was just part of the printing process. It, it's, my original design had them connected, um, which I didn't really mind at the time. I, once again, it gives it this cave painting kind of look. Um, but when I went back this time to, to make the new batch, I tightened up the legs, as you can tell. So it's the small little details. Most, most likely people wouldn't even catch on to them. Um, but, you know, me being a, an artistic person, I like that. Um, so you can see the improvement. The legs are much better there, and you can see the design is much bigger. Same thing over here. Once again, a slightly bigger fox, not as anemic looking, not as skinny. Um, perhaps it's a little too accurate to my real life, uh, but this fox is a little wider. Um, but you can see a little bit more differences. Um, once again, very, very subtle. But I think the, the knife, it looks clear that he's holding a knife and it's not like he's sticking his tongue out or something. Um, and yeah, I really like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk price. So first things first, guys, this bandana, these are going to be sold for $15 each. Now, I can already hear the collective booing of people and, you know, asking questions like, why would I buy a $15 bandana that, you know, where I can buy one at the dollar store for a dollar or two? And you're very right. And keep in mind, you don't have to buy this. Now, the reason why they're expensive, because they were expensive to make. In fact, that's why it's taken almost four years for us to make another batch. They're pricey, guys. This is the reality of one, working with an American business. By the way, we worked with Proper Print Shop. That's who we worked with to make these. Uh, we, we're not sourcing these from China somewhere, you know, coming from some sweatshop. This is the, the reality of supporting an American business. Proper Print Shop is also a local business to me and I'm doing what I can to help my local community and not only am I doing that to help them now more than ever this year but they're actually quality stuff and if you're going to be putting your name on something make sure it's quality don't be crusty the clown and be cheap and putting your name on stuff trying to make a quick buck and then it's garbage it's going to affect how you're viewed it's going to affect your brand so I really like what they do with these designs and uh, other than that, guys, I mean, not only are you supporting them as a small business, but you're supporting Junkyard Fox because, you know, it does cost money to film. C contrary to what some people think, if you want to make good content, you got to travel, you got to hunt. It takes hours and, and you know, you got to edit it correctly. And Gorbo's making music and all that stuff. So uh, this helps out. I'm hoping to make at least about a little less than 100 bucks back. That'll go back into travels. So the batch that we made is for 60 of them. And no joke, just to have them printed, it was about 470 bucks to print, not source the bandanas and then print them, but just to print them. So it is pretty pricey. Once again, the batch is 60 of them. Now 20 of them are going to our Patreons. Patreons help us out a lot. Patreons, you probably should check your mail now. There's a lot, good chance you already have received your stuff. And then the rest of the 40 will be sold. Uh, I'll have the link down below to our Instagram page, to the Junkyard Fox Instagram page. I'm gonna try to keep all the traffic going in one website because the first time it was like oh on facebook and on instagram and on this and that and it was just very disorganized so if we can keep everyone going through our facebook uh, i'm sorry instagram page and we'll make the sale there if you don't have an instagram page i'm under i'm aware not everyone does and you still are interested in a bandana uh comment down below we'll see what we can do maybe uh through facebook or, or something we'll figure it out but uh yeah guys so uh batch of 40 bandanas to be sold after this, I'm really not sure if we're going to keep making more stuff. We'll see what the future holds. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. Um, I'm really proud of what we did. I'm really glad how, you know, how they came out, and I'm glad that we're finally getting back to making some stuff. And who knows, if there's still demand, we might make a second batch, or this might be the last batch ever, because once again, it's a very costly process and time-consuming as well. Um, but who knows, maybe this might be opening the door to making new stuff like Junkyard Fox coffee mugs or uh, shirts if you guys are interested, you know? So let me know down below if you're interested in anything else, patches or something like that. And uh, that's about it for us, guys. So thank you once again. I appreciate all the support, the love throughout the years, guys. There's still plenty of life in Junkyard Fox. We have uh, so many things planned that I, I'm so excited to talk about, but I'm holding back. So who knows? Here's to another three years of adventures, guys. So thank you all once again. Links are down below. And we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.
Thank you.